Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final part of Expo 2020, Dubai's fifth international participants meeting. My name is Mahal Girgawi and I'll be moderating this last session of the day. I hope you have found a few past days informative. As you all know, this is the first time that the international participants meeting has been held virtually and its success has been down to your dynamic participation and your insightful questions. I would like to thank our speakers across all the days for sharing their inspiring messages, for representing the United Arab Emirates and Expo 2020's perspective on the way forward, and for giving you specific information to help you progress over the next phase, leading up to and during the event time. Hopefully by the next IPM, we'll be able to welcome you in person. I'm now pleased to introduce His Excellency Dimitri Kerkentis, the Director General of the Bureau of International Exhibitions. Your Excellency, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maha. Your Excellency, Minister Al-Hashmi, dear Commissioners General, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of four busy days of working sessions covering all aspects of expo preparations, from site construction and pavilion delivery, to operations, content and programming, commercialization, marketing and communication, I would like to sincerely thank the organizers for the rigorous preparation and dedication to providing informative and relevant sessions and to the participants for their dynamic participation and spirited and continuous engagement. Although realized virtually, this IPM has been all the more important in the light of the current global context and the critical need for discussion and updates following the one year postponement. Over the last few days, the organizers have presented the first adapted operational principles to reflect the new health challenges based on the data and information currently available. As the situation evolves daily, the site operational principles are to be further defined and tweaked over the coming months to adapt to the new developments. I believe that by spring 2021, we should all have a much better understanding of the site and pavilion operational requirements based on solid facts concerning the evolution of the overall situation, new preventative measures and technologies, and medical advancements. For the first time in the history of World Expos, Expo construction will be completed well in advance of the opening day, by December of this year. This gives us a unique opportunity to reflect, to study and evaluate the evolution of the situation to map out all the different possible scenarios and to identify the most appropriate measures and tools to ensure an enjoyable and safe experience for all. Safety, quality, innovation and visitor experience must sit at the heart of our plans for the Expo. We will study with the help of global experts the conditions that must be met for a safe visitation of the site and pavilions and adapt our visitor experience plans to deliver an incredible expo. The challenges that we are facing bring with them enormous opportunities for learning, innovation and partnership, and we must make full use of them. Public and private sector companies across the world are developing technologies and innovations that allow for people's lives to resume safely under these new conditions. We have a true opportunity to leverage these technologies and make them shine at the Expo, not only to develop and illustrate the Expo theme, but to support the delivery of a safe and enhanced visitor experience. Over the next 14 months, a major international cooperation effort requiring coordination, communication and mutual assistance between all the participants, the organizer and the BIE will be fundamental. This will allow us to adapt to the situation and deliver a safe, content-rich and immersive visitor experience and a truly exceptional expo. I would like to wholeheartedly thank and congratulate all the participants who, despite the distance and the circumstances, commit, mobilize and invest every day to build together an event that will undoubtedly be extraordinary. Your relentless efforts and commitment to continue the construction of your pavilions has been outstanding. Finally, I would like to thank the organizer who works tirelessly in the preparation of Expo 2020 Dubai and to congratulate Her Excellency Minister Reem Al Hashmi for her exceptional leadership. She has expertly guided the Expo throughout these challenging times while simultaneously providing invaluable support and maintaining close ties with the BIE and all participants. 
In a spirit of cooperation, partnership and commitment, we are working together to make Expo 2020 Dubai a rich and memorable experience for every visitor. It is only when we are together as one that we can build a world expo for the new era, that we can connect minds to create a new model for the world to come. I very much look forward to continuing our discussions at the next physical international participants meeting as soon as the conditions permit. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you allow me the honor to pass the floor, the virtual floor now, from here in Paris, back to our generous hosts in Dubai, to Her, Ex Her Excellency, the Director General of Expo 2020 Dubai, Reem El Hashmi. Thank you. Thank you, Dimitri. Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your kind attendance of these sessions over the past few days, for your energy and enthusiasm and the deep engagement that has been a prominent feature of every IPM, virtual or otherwise, since we began this journey together. The occasion of our first virtual IPM was necessitated by the times in which we live and our profound determination to continue our journey while always safeguarding the health and safety of our entire Expo family. The transition from physical to virtual has not been entirely seamless and we have faced technical challenges. However, I hope that these have not detracted for one minute from the value of the time we have spent together, the lessons we have learned and the progress we have made. Another reflection of these unprecedented global circumstances lies in the work we have carried out to adjust our operational principles to current events. We firmly believe that we will see huge advances in preventive interventions and medical treatments in the coming months. After all, look how far we have come in the few months since COVID became recognized as a global pandemic. That's why for now, we are sticking with our expectation of 25 million visits, because the world will be very different in just a few months from now, let alone the 13 months that we have until event time. These are principles, not guidelines. And I assure you that the UAE is absolutely ready to deliver on a world-class event, whatever the size of our physical and online audience. As you have heard over the course of the last few days, we are preparing for, and it is our duty to prepare for all scenarios so that whatever happens, we can deliver the best possible event for that circumstance. In light of the postponement, you've also asked us to review current fees, including your utility connection charges. We have coordinated with Dubai Electricity and Water Authority to ensure a 15 month cap on your electricity connection fees. This will hopefully assist you to drive down costs and further support your presence on site. This is the latest in a series of concessions and relaxations that we have delivered in order to reduce costs. From our telecommunication packages with our partner Etisalat, to authority inspections, to costs related to event permits, we are going above and beyond for you because we know that you have gone above and beyond as well. We need to deliver the best possible return on our collective investment, and we are your partner in that mission. When you meet your construction deadlines and complete your pavilion this December, we can close our site and stand down the Expo construction workforce of which we are so proud and of which we are so, so protective. Our world leading partnership with Group 42 and with WHOOP has equipped us to protect the health and safety of this workforce to a degree that has enabled us to make potentially life altering interventions at an individual worker level. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure to share our progress with you and also to answer every single question that we have been asked. I hope easing the path to your own achievements and ambitions for Expo. We strongly encourage you to take the materials that were shared in advance of IPM, as well as the information that was communicated during these sessions and Q&As and use that to finalize your construction, to enrich your pavilions with quality content, to share your stories and plug into our specialist program and to bring your greatest talents to our stages and our spaces. 
we have been working together on this journey for so many years now and have been available to you at all times, either online or in person. COVID-19 has truly tested the strength of relationships between countries and communities near and far. What I have witnessed personally, however, within our own Expo community is an indomitable spirit committed to collaboration and to finding the path forward together. So let us take that spirit and begin a new chapter in our journey, one characterized by proactive and productive discussion and tangible real life outcomes. That's how we finish your home on this site. That's how we bring your story to life on this site. And that's how we fulfill our commitments to the BIE, to communities all around the world and to each other. To those who need a reason to believe as we do, that it is possible to design and achieve a better, stronger and more equitable future for all. I hope to see you in person here in Dubai when conditions allow for easier travel. Until then, I look forward to your engagement with the first in our pre-expo virtual series, Space Week, which will examine how we might safely and productively explore new frontiers. This series will take place in four weeks, mirroring the opening of our event time Space Week at Expo in 2021. Finally, and as you know, 2021 will mark the 50th anniversary of the foundation of the United Arab Emirates. It is with great pride that our World Expo will coincide with our Golden Jubilee, when we will celebrate all that has been achieved and planned for the next half century together. Thank you to all the participants, to the BIE, to everybody who's registered, and in particular, a very special thank you to the Expo 2020 team, who I am so very proud of. Thank you all for your time and attention. Have a good evening. Thank you so much for the closing remarks. And that brings us to the end of Expo 2020 Dubai's fifth international participants meeting. A reminder that all questions raised and answered will be available in the FAQ document, which will be updated on the Expo portal, as well as presentations and recordings for all sessions. We look forward to providing our ongoing support to all of you. So please do continue to reach out and engage with your country manager. Thank you all for joining us. It has been an absolute pleasure.